A couple months ago, one of my lovely subscribers reached out to me and let me know that Dan Locke actually has a bunch of domains, and I just thought it was interesting. Well, right now I am researching for the Morrison Brothers, they're very popular internet marketers for the next Authentic or Charlatan episode, and I decided to look back at Dan Locke's domain purchasing as it tied into kind of the Morrison Brothers, and I came across something interesting that I think you guys would all find interesting. All right, we're looking on my screen now. I went into securitytrails.com where we can see info on the domain name owners. So I looked up danlock.com because I wanted to look back and see all the domains that he uh, owns. And if you click on the IP, you can see all of the domains that he purchased. And it's pretty interesting, right? Nothing too interesting so far. We got Danlock Show, Danlock Media, High Ticket Closer, Perfect Closing Script, right on schedule, right? Unlock It Book, Danlock Media, yada, yada, yada. But I noticed something interesting this removers.com that is tied to the same IP address as danlock.com. And so he definitely owns it, right? I mean, all of these others, Dragon 100, Go Perfect Close, we know that this is Dan Lock. So he must own this removers.com. Now, what exactly is it? So I did a who, who is search and I came across the removers.com. You can look up the domain and see who ordered it. So Dan Lock ordered it. And he ordered it in Pune, Maharashtra, India. I'm not familiar with this area. If anyone is an IT expert, can you please share in the comments below why he would purchase it in India? This is definitely the same Dan Locke. There's, there's, there's only one I know of, and he has the, the same IP address as all his other sites, so that's gotta be him. So anyway, I decided to look up removers.com, and that's kind of the purpose of this video. And this brought about a really interesting insight into kind of how these internet marketers work. Removers.com says online negative content removal by top experts. And one thing that a lot of people that have been kind of in that Dan Locke cult have reached out to me and mentioned to me before is that he's got a team of people that go out and scour the web and look for negative content and basically shuts it down. He's got this like dedicated team for it. And apparently like in his Facebook group, if there's anything that's not praising Dan Locke, then, then you're, you're ejected, you're removed. And so that kind of falls in line with what this removers.com is. It, it sounds interesting already. Re online negative content removal. So let's see what exactly it is. So we scroll down the site and there's some interesting sites already. Complaints board, nameandshame.com, ripoff report. Interesting. But look at this one, youtube.com. And look at the deliverable. Delete. Time frame 10 days. What I have a feeling is happening is in this application, whatever the service is, they go in and delete content, delete any type of comments about Dan that could be negative. That is my guess. It kind of falls in line with what people are telling me through email. And I just thought this was really interesting. This is a chance for internet marketers to really control the content out there about them. And one thing I want you to understand is these internet marketers really rely on their reputation. They need their reputation to be able to sell these courses and they know Deep down, they know that they're playing a game where there's gonna be a lot of refunds, a lot of people are gonna feel like they got sold something that didn't deliver, they're gonna uh, go on message boards and talk poorly about these people. Now, I totally understand that not everyone comes at you fair, you know, that's part of being on the internet and being a public figure, as Dan is. You know, I'm definitely not excusing that, but you know, there's a lot of people out there that feel scammed. You just watch CoffeeZilla's channel, and I just find it fascinating when you look through these sites that, I mean, they, they have everything. Look at this one, she's a homerecord.com. I wonder, I wonder if Dan's wife was found there. That would be a reason for him to invest in this company. Cheaterland.com, the dirty.com. If you scroll down, we got scam.com. And I actually, in a couple of these sites, I just looked up Dan Locke to see if there was any mention of it and I didn't see anything. And my guess is that he goes out there and finds negative content and basically pays for this service. And he may have even started the service, I have no idea but uh, go out there and really curate all the content online about you to be positive. And this is kind of what I've been getting at in this Authentic or Charlatan series. And if you look at the Google rankings, if you type in certain keywords, you'll find that in the results, there's only positive things to say about these people. There's never anything negative. And I find it fascinating to come across this because that kind of plays into what I've been believing all along that these people rely so much on their reputation and they are not willing to have any criticism against them at all because deep down they know that they're full of crap. I don't know, this is just an interesting site. Now, if you look up the uh, reverse DNS lookup on Dan Locke, I thought this was also pretty interesting. This gives you an insight into his mind and just what he was doing before you know the social media fame. This was his run of being a quote unquote business expert. Now, 
I'm going to ask you, do you really think someone who is running all businesses and is this like business expert, business consultant is spending time buying domains? Not at all. I mean, look at these. There's so many silly sounding domains that he, I'm guessing that he went out and purchased in hopes to maybe one day have the domain or was holding it in case someone else wanted them so that he can, you, there's a, there's a whole marketplace where you can like lease these or sell them for a profit, but it's kind of funny. He has a garden how to.com. So now he's a gardening expert. He's just an expert in everything. Here's the iBrandology that we found together. Instant best-selling author, uh, Lava Lash. I have no idea what that is, but MakeupHowTo's.com. It's so funny. Like this probably was a part of his business that he never talks about. I've never heard him talk about it, but it seems like it took up a lot of his time. Like this was something he did. Here, here you have the salon business expert. But yeah, in your, in your spare time, look up ViewDNS.info. You can do a reverse search of Dan Locke and just see all of the domains that he was buying. Now, he hasn't bought any recently. I think 2017 right here, 3 two, 2017 was probably the most recent. So it does look like as the social media quote unquote fame took off once he started buying ads and really blowing up that social media, not organically, but all through paid, it looks like he kind of moved on from this past Dan Dan Locke and he, he wanted to become the actual business expert that he claims to be. And uh, I don't know, I just thought this was interesting. I figured you guys would find this pretty interesting. If anything, it just adds to this mystery of Dan Locke being the business expert. I just don't see any anywhere, any anything showing that he has built any businesses before all the social media. And you can see kind of what he was doing. Sweet Nail Salon, sweetnailsalon.com the right to be rich. This is just silly. And uh, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Maybe this wasn't entertaining to you at all, but it was fascinating to me. And uh, thanks for watching.